Okay, so getting ready to install a new muffler on this 03 Nissan Altima 2.5. So the glass pack is probably going to come out. I don't think I can run uh, the muffler. The muffler is 26 inches. Um, and I think I only had about 17 inches from the, you know, from the uh, behind the cat there to the glass pack. So I'll probably have to take the glass pack out and I'll probably just put a piece of uh, exhaust. I may reuse that piece or something. I, I mean, I'm going to have to buy some adapters. This muffler, it's a walker and it's a two and a half inch, which is probably bigger than what I needed, uh, inlet and outlet. Um, and it's a chambered muffler. It looks pretty good. I'm, I'm thinking this is going to do the trick. Definitely going to be quieter than just the glass pack. That was a that was a fail, especially since it's back so far. That probably didn't help. But I think even if it was up front, it'd still be pretty noisy. Um, but um, the the option was I could have gone back to the factory resonator, but I didn't like the way I've never liked the way that thing would hang down. It was kind of a triangle shape. I showed it in another video. An older video and it kind of would go up in there and then it was you know small on the top and it it's triangle shaped so it would hang hang way down and it would drag on speed bumps so this walker is a um, it's a six inch body I'm gonna pause the video for a second here okay we're back um, yeah so it's a six six inch body and originally I was looking at uh, four inch mufflers and I was looking for five inch is what I really wanted and I couldn't find one it was either four or five and what I did was uh, I found this six inch muffler like I say walker it's 26 uh, inches long two and a half inch inlet and outlet and so what I did was I made uh, these cardboard templates that's a six inch diameter Okay, and then I just slid it up on the exhaust. I made two of these and just put them, you know, at least 26 inches apart. Put them on the existing exhaust and made sure that a uh, six inch diameter muffler would fit up underneath. There's like a tunnel up under there. Um, so it looks like it's going to fit right in there and it should have plenty of clearance. Hopefully we don't have any issues because I don't want it to be rattling around under there. But... Uh, it's a chambered muffler. I'm going to get a shot of that. I think it's going to work great. Okay, here's a look at the inlet side. You can kind of see down in there. Looks like there's uh, three or four holes. I can't, I can only see three. And it's got perforated section there. So, you know, it's got a restriction. And then if you look at the side of the muffler, it's got those welds and that's the chamber section right in the middle. So yeah, I think this is gonna this is definitely gonna quiet it way down. So like I say, I'm gonna have to get some adapters and things to make this work, but I'm gonna start pulling the exhaust out and we'll make this work. Okay. exhaust noise but this header is pretty loud yeah the header makes us quite a bit of noise around 2500 but it's only under certain conditions if you're holding the throttle steady going down the highway it's not bad but it's usually just under a, a low vacuum when you're under acceleration. Under load, like going up a hill, is really bad 
try to capture that. Okay, so I got the walker muffler put in. So I messed up when I ordered this muffler. It's a two and a half inch in and out, and this car just has two inch exhaust, so I had to get a few adapters. Had a heck of a time getting my welder set up, but finally got it. Um, yeah, so I've got this set up to where it's removable. You got the flange in the front, the factory you know set up there and then in the back I've got one clamp so the I've got a piece welded you can just barely see it to the factory existing exhaust weld there and then uh, looks like another adapter there and then in between that I've got you know it just slips on and I got it welded or clamped in it okay Okay, it's not real beautiful. Had a heck of a time welding this thing with the paint on the car and everything, but uh, I got one of these universal brackets from Napa and I, I made a 90 here and welded it to the body. And then uh, I wanted this to hang vertical, but it didn't quite work out how I wanted. And then I left this long because I wasn't sure if I was gonna have to push the muffler up higher. So I wanted to have extra adjustments, so I left left along I could go back and cut that off I guess but I'm just gonna leave it for now because uh, maybe in time I don't know I may have to go out back and uh, push that up but anyway that's uh that's what we got going on the big thing on this car you can see there's a uh, like a cross member I don't even know what it's for but it's got that piece there it's real tight clearance it's about a finger width there so you don't want um, that's why I put this hanger here because it was gonna it was hanging down and it was gonna hit on that and rattle like crazy. Okay. Hopefully this thing will sound good. Okay, so the walker muffler is definitely a lot quieter. Unfortunately, it does hang down a bit and it does drag on uh, Or speed bumps and things. I got the windows down on the back. Yeah, it's pretty quiet. Okay, just got done putting new uh, headlight lenses on the Altima. I think they're TYC, I think that's the brand. I think. Uh, yeah, so the muffler sounds really good and uh, I did take it out um, for some more test drives. Took it over a bunch of speed bumps and it was just fine. It's just the speed bump that's out here behind the garage on this alleyway. It's real. It's a real steep one, so you got to be careful on the the real tall speed bumps and things. But other than that, uh, I went over some s normal flat ones, and I got out. And there's about two inches of clearance between the muffler and the speed bump. So yeah, I think it'll be all right. Just got to be aware of that. It's. I don't think it's any worse than the factory. Uh, resonator that was on there. Alright, thanks for watching.